Okay, class, this is lesson four about seas and oceans. And specifically, we are talking about causes of ocean currents and characteristics of ocean currents. What do you think are the causes of ocean currents? Number one is gravitational force. Gravitational force and earth rotation. As the earth rotates on its axis, under the influence of gravitational force, it also has an influence on seas and oceans, and therefore, that's why we have cold ocean currents and warm ocean currents moving on seas and oceans. Then we have difference in pressure zones. This is pressure on the sea, or on the ocean. It is not atmospheric pressure. In the sea or in the ocean, we have different pressure zones. And I believe using some science, part of the ocean where pressure is high is where ocean currents come from, going to part of the sea where pressure is low. Then we have temperature variations, changes in temperature. When oceanic water is hot in terms of temperature, its molecules, the molecules of oceanic water are light and therefore ocean currents may rise from the oceanic floor to the surface of the ocean. Those are what we call upwelling currents. Then when temperatures are low, oceanic water might sink because it is dense. It is heavy and causing currents like downwelling. Then we have differences in salinity. How much salt, how much calcium this oceanic water contains. I believe if the salinity is high, the water becomes dense or heavy. If the salinity is low, the water is light and therefore changes in movements of different ocean currents. Then we have strong winds and storms. This brings instabilities on oceanic water and seas and finally cause movements or ocean currents because these winds and storms have destabilized the oceanic water. Then much precipitation, much precipitation in terms of rainfall. The more the rainfall, the more the instabilities and the more the ocean currents. The less the rainfall, the less the ocean what? Currents. Direction and shape of the coastline. We have different shapes of coastlines. Some coastlines are indented, others are straight, others have lagoons, and these ones will affect water movements differently. Then we have relief of the oceanic basins. This is what we called in our previous lesson. These are what we called marine relief. For example, if the ocean contains uh, the extensive flat areas at the bottom, which we call the deep plains, or if it has continental slope and continental shelf and trenches, these ones will affect the movements of water differently and therefore generating different currents. Okay, moving objects, these big canoes, ships and ferries can also cause ocean currents or the waves. Characteristics of cold ocean currents. Cold, specifically cold ocean currents. What are their characteristics? They flow from poles 
towards the equator. They flow from polar regions towards the equatorial region. From North Pole, South Pole, towards the Dordra, the equatorial region. They mainly occur on the western margins of the continent. They are always on the western side. Like uh, Canary Ocean Currents in Africa here. Then we have number three, they cause dry conditions to the neighboring areas where they grow too. In the northern hemisphere, ocean currents move clockwise, while in the southern hemisphere, cold ocean currents move and clockwise. Characteristics of warm ocean currents, this time warm ocean currents. They flow from equator towards polar regions, vice versa. They flow from equatorial regions to polar regions. They occur on eastern margins, eastern side of the continent. And they, only, they always cause wet conditions in case they affect the neighboring region because they carry warm, moist air. They are warm and therefore they rise the air they meet on land, which goes on the station level, forms clouds, clouds form rainfall. Thank you.